In a perfect game world, which we actually need to simulate, there are basically two things happening over and over and over again at at least 60 frames a second. 60 frames a second should be good enough. There's the update, right? And then the update, we would check our ship position. What's our ship velocity? Update it. You see all this kind of update -ish stuff, you know, profiler do your stuff. And oh, by the way, clock, we're lapping. And then as we get bigger and bigger and add more and more to this, we're going to, you know, physics do your stuff and AI do this stuff and networking, maybe we'll get that far and so on. So we do all this heavy lifting and update. And then eventually we say, all right, well, we've changed all the game state as far as our memory is concerned. And, and we've moved the uh, ship around, at least in our little example. So draw it. Draw the current state of the game. So yeah, draw, it does all the rendering, the computer graphics stuff, and it'll do some heavy lifting too once we get to that point. But by far the update does most of the heavy lifting. So in a perfect game world, we have this set up and we just update, draw, update, draw, update, draw, update, draw, update, draw, update, draw, and, and the player has a great experience going through the game. But since we are using Qt with OpenGL, um, there's a lot of conveniences with Qt and OpenGL. It's slick. It's, you can see how easy we're able to get a window up, that kind of thing. But some of the disadvantages are that Qt is still a windowing system and uses events, which they call signals and slots in Qt. But it's the same idea. They're, they're using these events to kind of pump things through. And so what we do is we call repaint right here. We do a, we, we're essentially doing our update, and then we're trying to do our draw. Right, and repaint says, well, just run paint GL. So update, draw, update, draw, update, draw. You see that? But unfortunately, since we are using Qt as a windowing system, or it is a windowing system, our windowing system, it is built like every other windowing system I've used. <laughs> and I've used a lot, okay? But essentially, um, this paint is being called by more things than just us. So it is quite possible that we say, update, draw, 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 draw. Update, draw, 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 update, draw. Update, draw, 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 And what causes paint GL to execute? Well, if you alt-tab, that'll make it paint. Um, if other things that QT deems necessary will force it to paint. And I don't know all the intricacies of when QT will feel like it's time to do a paint, but I do know that we do not have this nice clean loop of update, draw, update, draw, update, draw. I want this loop. We need this loop. We depend on it. So how do we get around this situation? Um, actually, before I tell you how to get around this situation, let me just quickly describe how windowing systems work. And I am pretty sure this is all of them. Right, at least all the ones I've worked with, and I've worked with several. But there's this there's this thing called the event queue, right? And what's a queue? Well, it's a line, right? If you ever stood in line for fast food, you get the idea. And if you study computer science, you learn about queues and basically their line. And why do we use the word queue? Because it sounds more technical and makes us sound smart. I don't know. But if you ever spend some time in England, or maybe you live in England or somewhere else, the word queue they use the word queue instead of uh, get in line, they'll say get in the queue. So there's all, everything we do in a windowing system causes uh, messages to be put on this queue. This is going to be very high level, what I'm showing, but uh, nonetheless uh, true. So say I, I uh, move my mouse along uh, the screen, right? and yeah, obviously, I mean, I'm moving my mouse a lot, a lot, but, but the process of me moving my mouse will put a mouse move signal in this queue and then maybe I click my mouse so we'll say mouse click All right, and then in the meantime we call repaint which requires a paint alright and then let's say QT says something that says well we need to paint again and we need to paint again and we need to paint again and so this queue just kinda grows as events come in say we we have a another mouse move I keep moving my mouse you know and, all these various requests. Well, there's this thread down here whose job is to take a request off the queue, process it, meaning do whatever is associated with that, including calling events associated with that, and then go on to the next item in the queue. 
So let's see, the first thing here is the mouse move. So maybe we need to repaint the mouse. So we'll take this off the queue and and the code inside of the mouse move will will consume that and now we're good. Oh, mouse click. Well, if somebody's subscribed to the slot for a mouse click, we'll consume that. And, oh, paint. Okay, well, let's run paint GL. And oh, you want us to paint again? Let's run paint GL. And then in the meantime, our timer will throw a my update in here. And maybe we click the mouse again. So there's a mouse click. All right, but this thread's just down here churning away. It says, oh, you want me to paint again? All right, let's do a paint. And then, uh, oh, you moved a mouse again. Good. We'll run that. And then. And then uh, my update, run that, okay, and that causes, oh, well, we call we call repaint down here, so that's going to put another paint GL event in there, right? So there's paint getting to the top of my window, but hopefully you get the idea that as you do events and as we call things that trigger other events, they just keep going on this queue and this thread's constantly busy processing them. All right, and so the timer, all our little timer does is just say, hey, run my update run my update run my update run my update but every time we call run my update in the midst of that we say repaint so the timer says run my update and we say paint but then something else inside says we'll just do p for paint something else inside the windowing system says oh well we just saw that event we need to paint again we need to paint again and in the meantime our our timer goes off again and says, hey, run my update. Oh, but we need to paint again. And so that's why we're kind of getting these inconsistencies. What I want to see is my update, paint. My update, paint. My update, paint. You see how we have this nice distinguished me than you, me than you, me than you. But, but since we're intertwined here with QT's windowing system, other things, other events, other signals, other code running constantly in the background in QT can put several paint events, all right? And this is where we're getting the duplicate categories because it's not until my update that we say, well, new frame profiler. So then if we get multiple paints, we say, hey, paint, profile matrix multiplication. You okay, remember that? Let me expand paint GL here. You see um, profile matrix multiplication. Well, sure enough, we're going to hit this line more often than we're going to hit new frame, which puts the profiler in a consistent state. And the only reason why is because QT is firing off these extra paint events that get in the queue, and then this little thread down here is, is uh, consuming these. All right, so if you ever hear, hear the term, uh, GUIs or forms or windows, it's a single threaded system. That's what they mean by single thread. We can add several requests here on the queue and then the single thread. That one thread constantly just churns and burns and pulls these off. Anyway, we need this situation, but I can't take over QT's logic and get it. So what we're going to have to do is a little less ideal, but it will work. It's not my first choice but I think we'll go for it is the paint will do our update and our paint on the paint I say that ten times but basically we're going to consider paint GL we could call this whatever we wanted to as long as we wired up the function pointers correctly but this is going to be our game loop function now I, I'm not going to have this separate thing here I, I will say repaint but other than that, control X, let me put all this update code at the top here. Look how long this function's getting. It's getting long and ugly. And I'm going to drop a comment here just for now until we clean this code up. But now we're going to update, and then we'll paint, and then we'll update, and then we'll paint, and then we'll update, and then we'll paint. Out of QT, or cute as other people call it, uh, if it wants to queue up 10,000 paint events, in front of me, also queuing them up as well, that's fine. But I know now I'm consistently going to update and then paint and then update and then paint because I pushed all the code into this one function. All right, let me uh, get rid of this extra white line. It's driving me nuts. Control L. If my theory is correct and I hit Control F5, we should no longer see the asserts bomb in front of our face. 
So let's hope that I'm right. Control F5. There we go. No asserts. I'm flying around. And my profiler, hopefully in the background, is profiling this stuff. So yeah, good. Good. So I think in the next video, let's uh, look at those profile samples. And then we really should, this function's getting too long and a little bit unbearable. So I think we'll probably factor these into some functions just to make it more maintainable.